Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Snow White was very beautiful. Her father, the king of the land, loved her very much. In fact, all who saw her fell in love with her beauty and her loving nature. Snow White had a stepmother who did not like her. The stepmother did not like the fact that Snow White was beautiful. She had a magic mirror and every day the stepmother would ask it. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the most beautiful lady in the land? The mirror always replied, You are your majesty. But when Snow White turned all of 16 on the day of her birthday, The mirror told the stepmother, Snow White is the most beautiful lady in the land. The angry stepmother was filled with jealousy. She wanted to get rid of Snow White as soon as possible. She called her trusted servant and ordered him to take Snow White into the forest, far from the castle, and kill her there. I will give you a lot of money if you do this she told the servant. The greedy servant quickly took the little girl to the forest. But the girl looked so pretty and sad that he could not kill her and left her alone in the forest sitting under a tree. Soon it became night and she began to cry. <laughs> she heard strange sounds and rustlings that made her feel scared. But since she was tired, she fell asleep under the tree. In the morning, she awoke to the song of the birds and the sunlight peeping through the tall trees. She got up and started walking. On she walked till she came to a clearing. There stood a funny looking cottage with a tiny door, tiny windows and a tiny chimney. Oh, what a tiny cottage this is! Let me go inside. Maybe I will find some food to eat here. Snow White knocked on the door. When no one answered, she went inside. She peeped around the kitchen. What tiny plates and spoons! I wonder who lives here. There must be seven of them. The table's laid for seven people. Then she went upstairs where she saw a bedroom with seven little beds. I'll cook a meal for whoever lives here. They will be glad to find a meal ready. When dusk fell, seven tiny men marched homewards singing. <laughs> they opened the door and were surprised to find a bowl of hot soup on the table and the whole house clean. Snow White lay fast asleep on one of the beds. The chief dwarf 
gently touched her shoulder. Snow White woke with a start. Who are you? he asked. Snow White told them a sad story and all the dwarfs started to cry with her. <laughs> Stay here with us! <laughs> oh, stay here with us! They said together. You can live here and tend to the house when we are working down at the mine. Don't worry about your stepmother leaving you in the forest. We'll take care of you. Snow White happily said yes. The next morning, the dwarfs set off for work. After warning her not to open the door to strangers, anyone she did not know. Meanwhile, the servant returned to the castle with the heart of a deer. He gave it to the cruel stepmother. This is Snow White's heart, he said, so that he could claim the reward. The stepmother turned to the magic mirror, but the mirror replied, beautiful in the land is still Snow White who lives in the seven dwarfs cottage in the forest. The stepmother was filled with rage. She must die. I will make sure she does. Disguising herself as an old peasant woman, she put a poisoned apple in a basket. Then she quickly went to the forest. Snow White was in the kitchen. She heard the sound of a knock on the door. Who's there? she asked, remembering the dwarf's advice. Just a peasant woman selling apples. In the reply. I don't need any apples, thank you. But they are beautiful apples and ever so juicy. I'm not supposed to open the door to anyone, said Snow White. Good girl, if you promised not to open up to strangers, then of course you can't buy one of my apples. You are a good girl. Indeed, as a reward for being good, I'm going to make you a gift of one of my apples. Snow White opened the door just a tiny crack. To take the apple. Then the stepmother quickly went away. Snow White bit into the fruit and as she did, fell to the ground. The poison made her lifeless. Meanwhile, the dwarfs came out of the mine to find Snow White lying still and lifeless. The poisoned apple by her side. They did their best to wake her, but could not do so. Sad, they laid her on a bed of rose petals in a crystal coffin. Then one evening, They found a handsome young man kneeling by the coffin, looking mournfully at Snow White. The dwarfs told him the sad story. And the prince, for he was one, said, Let me take her to my castle. I will call the best doctors in the land to wake her. She is so beautiful. And he bent to kiss her, which is what he did. He shook the coffin as he did and the jolt made the apple fall out of Snow White's mouth. She woke up. The nasty spell laid by the wicked stepmother was broken. Yeah, everyone was happy. The prince asked Snow White to marry him. He said yes. They had a grand wedding. 
and Snow White invited her father to the wedding. The wicked stepmother was thrown out of the land by the king for having been so mean to his daughter. Snow White never forgot the dwarfs and often visited them in the forest.